Looks like I finally got somebody's attention around here, huh? Two years ago, I won the Face of the Revolution ladder match. One year ago, I choked out your king. This year, finally, I get my shot at the World Heavyweight Championship after I beat all the other all-stars in the match. But here's the real question. Who's it gonna be? Wardlow versus Hangman Adam Page? Doesn't matter. I'll slap the cowboy's mustache into the third row and send him back into depression. Maybe it'll be Wardlow versus Swerve. You guys like him, huh? It's Swerve's house, right? I'm gonna kick the front door of your house down and whoop your ass from the basement to the attic because nobody else gets to eat before me. So swerve back into your own lane and dance your ass to the back of the line. Yeah, Swerve's house only exists in my world. Or is it going to be Wardlow for Samoa Joe? I am so sick of hearing you dumb hillbillies chant, Joe, Joe, Joe. You know what? I hope it is you, Joe, because everybody knows you're in my spot. And this time, I am going to finish the job. Not only am I going to take my spot, take my title, I am going to beat you so bad that you will be forced to put on a headset and sit your ass at that announce table where you belong. Yeah, I'm him. I've been him. I will always be him. And tomorrow night, I remind everyone that I am still the face of the revolution. I am the uncrowned king because this is no longer wrestling. This is. Talking about, you're talking about Swerve and Joe and Hangman. They're all great competitors, but you're not fighting them tomorrow at Revolution. Okay, you're in the all-star scramble, and I don't know if you know me, I'm Chris Jericho, I'm not an all-star, I'm one of the greatest to ever do this. And if you think you're just gonna pass over me and six of the other competitors in this match, six of the greatest performers in AEW and worldwide, I'm gonna give you a little bit of, a, of information for you right now, Wardlow, okay? I am Chris Jericho. They call me the Ocho because I am an eight-time world champion. And more importantly, I am the very first, the very first AEW heavyweight champion. So the way I see it, that's Jericho 8, Wardlow 0, because you ain't one shit. So before you disrespect me and say you're just going to go straight to the top of the line, I want to remind you, it's been four years since I lost that title to John Moxley in one of the greatest matches in AEW history, since I even had a chance to even get a moment to hold that title, even sniff that title. So tomorrow at Revolution, this isn't just another match for me. This is a chance for me to get back to where I think I can be, where I know I can be, the AEW champion, because I know I'm good enough. 
The question I have, Wardlow, are you? Because you're complaining so much about being overlooked and being pushed aside. And thousands of people used to chant my name. And I had a rocket on my back that was pointed downward. Do you ever think maybe it wasn't any of those things? Maybe the reason why people stopped chanting your name is you just weren't good enough. You just weren't as good as you think you are, Mike. Whoa. Whoa. You know what, Chris? You're absolutely right. Because I was this close to the top of the mountain. I could smell it. I could damn near reach it. And after double or nothing, I show up for work just to take a step backwards. And then the next week, a step down from the mountain, and then a step backwards, and then a step down, and then a step down, and then a step down. And yeah, Chris, it pissed me off to the point that I let it eat me away, to the point where I was taking work home and I let it ruin my personal life. I lost my best friend because of it. I lost me. But after sitting at home for three months with no explanation and no phone call, I slowly started to remember who I am. And I did what I have done so many times in my life, pick myself up off the floor, put myself back together, and come back here to remind all of you just who in the hell I am because I am Wardlow. I am the biggest and baddest son of a bitch to ever step foot in a professional wrestling ring. And I don't give a damn what your name is. I don't care how many titles you've won. And I said it a week ago, I'm done eating your scraps. So now, so if you think I'm not good enough, I'm right here. Feel free to come down and show me because I'd like to remind you who the hell I am. So if you want me to come down and prove something, I'll do it right now, right here. I'll take the rocket and shove it up your ass in front of everybody here in Huntsville. Huntsville, Alabama, right? Look where I go. Wait a, wait a minute, what is this? It's Hobbs, it's Powerhouse Hobbs. Saving Warlow. This is about Hobbs continuing the work of the Don Callis family. 